Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Nocturne Rebirth. In the last episode, we got halfway through this village introduction. See you guys. Well, see you guys now. Far the heat is bugging my brain a bit. Luna, you won't teach my friend Magello anything too extreme to play, right? This is the village chief's house. As the village chief is busy right now, we can only see his house from the outside. Hmm. Next would probably be Mr. Roche, or should I say the smithy? Let's head there. Oh, Luna, please give my regards to Stella. Hey, Luna, the weather has completely been continuously been gloomy lately, so much so that it dampened my spirits. Luna, what are you doing here? I don't remember today being your training day. No, that's not it, Mr. Roche. I'm just bringing Mr. Revio, the gentleman behind me, around the village. Mm, I see. Mr. Revio, this is the village's smithy, and the gentleman in front of you is... Roche, everyone in the village calls me that. Hmm. Well, if it's swords or any weapons and armor that you want, I'm afraid... And I'm afraid to say I don't forge them. You're better off approaching Maddox, the weapon and armor sheep keep shopkeeper for them. You know where he is? Yes, Mr. Reviel knows. I brought him here there earlier. Then that settles that. You don't forge weapons and armors? Yeah, I don't. While this place is officially a smithy, it's essentially more of a hardware shop. Mr. Roche basically forges things like pots and kettles. Oh. And this isn't relevant, but an achievement of his is building a brute belfry in the town of Snowtro. Yeah, pretty much that. You mentioned training. Ah, well, the truth is, I'm currently being trained by Mr. Roche in spear fighting. Well, that's after all an art of self-defense. She had long pestered me to train her no matter what, until I finally agreed. Luna, are you about done now? I would like to spend a day tidying up. Uh, sorry for interrupting your work. Nah, don't fret. If anything, I can't thank you enough for saving me from your tomboyish mother Stella when I first came to this village. Um, I could really use some help for getting what happened that time. Ha <laughs> ha, well she has since mentioned, matured into a fine lady. Even Madoka is willing to learn things from her. I wouldn't recommend that, to be honest. Well, I'll see you again, then. I look forward to tomorrow's training. Yeah, same here. Hmm, <laughs> Raviel, huh? I wonder if it's really alright to look overlook him. So that's it, then. Yeah, I more or less know about the whole village now. Is something wrong? Reviel, can I have a word with you? Hmm. The truth is, I should have said this earlier. It's kind of hard to say now, but... I should have better express, express my gratitude to you for saving my life. Also, it's my first time introducing the village to a traveler. Are you annoyed by my inexperience? Not really. You're a kind person. Anyway, there are two things that I need to tell you about regarding this village, Mr. Reviel. One is regarding a frightening epidemic here. An epidemic spread like wildfire across the whole village. It had been going on ongoing for quite some time and only died down recently. However, it's not over yet. There's still one person who's bedridden and has yet to recover. And that person is the one living in the house up those stairs, isn't it? Yes, that's right. On the other hand, the situation in the areas away from the house has taken quite a turn for the better. Still, though, we must not be negligent, ne negligent. And so I revise that you don't get too close to that house. Hmm. The other thing is regarding... Vampires, right. 
It began about two weeks, weeks ago. First, a woman's body was found with traces of blood having been sucked. Then several people went missing, and last night there was yet another. Even though a skilled slayer is coming tonight, I still don't feel safe. Um, after hearing about these incidents, do you feel uneasy about them? How absurd. Eh? Uh? Epidemic. Vampires, what about them? Those aren't a threat to me at any rate. Thank you. Huh? Did you say something? No, it's a nothing. Let's head back to my house. There's probably just one problem, though. A vampire slayer. That just might be a nuisance for me. Luna, help! Mr. Cephalo? What's wrong? It's Midia. She suddenly... Midia's in trouble? How can this be? I thought the doctor would kept her condition under control? I don't know. All I know is that she suddenly splewed blood and that her forehead began to burn hot. If anything were to happen to Midia, I, I, what should I do? The doctor. Where's the doctor? I went to the urban area to purchase medicine. That's why I can only rely on you. I got it. I'll, I'll do all I can to help until the doctor returns. Sorry, Mr. Reviel. I have to do whatever you want. Thank you. Still, I'm on Midia's place. Let's go, Mr. Cephalo. What a hassle. Oh, Riviel, wasn't Luna with you? She went to the house up on the hill. Oh, don't tell me it's with regard to Midia's condition! Apparently, it is. Riviel, sorry for troubling you with this, but could you pass this book to Luna? In magical medical encyclopedia. Well, alright. You can just ask the person standing in front of the house on the hill to pass it to her. Thank you in advance. <laughs> it's nice to make your acquaintance, Mr. Reviel. Who are you? How do you know my name? I'm known as Sylphiel. I came by the order of my master. I hope we can get along from this point forward. Your master. This mana, so it's chaos, huh? Yes, that is correct. So what business do you, a familiar of chaos, have with me? I'm here to pass a written invitation from my master to you. He wishes to invite you for tea. Hmm. My master has cut off all dealings with the outside world, hence... Please forgive him for abruptly sending me to see you like this. Hmph. <laughs> Dane Chaos's invitation. That will be all for me. We shall await your arrival at my master's residence. Hmm. Here's a guard, the one whom Luna brought to this village. Let me in. No, someone affected by the epidemic lives inside. I cannot allow strangers in at any rate. There's something I have to ascertain first before heading to Chaos' residence. <laughs> ah. hmm. Oh, what was I doing? Let me in, you have no problems with that, right? Uh, yes, please go in. Please go in.
why I had it so sudden. She was doing so well, not just not too long ago. We must calm down. Right now we have to be patient and trust our girl will pull through. Mr. Reviel, what are you doing here? I'm asked to pass something to you. There's also something I want to ascertain. Past Medical Encyclopedia to Luna. This book, it's from my mom, isn't it? So she shares the same thought as me. Luna? Well, actually, I have a hunch that Mitty's illness might be caused by the epidemic. Her condition, after all, is slightly different from the conditions of the other infected villagers. But I can't be so sure. I apologize for that, and I really hope that my microphone did not pick that up, despite the fact that I have a really good, um, noise canceller on it. Mr. Reveal? So this is different from what I thought. But wait, this is... Mr. Reveal, it's dangerous to get that close to- So it's a puppet curse, huh? Huh? It's most likely the work of a vampire. The work of a vampire, you mean the vampire curse Midia? Yeah. What? So that means Midia's illness is. It's not caused by the epidemic. The vampire is probably just a small fry, though, so this will be interesting. Why? Why is Midia cursed? The reason is simple. Vampires can't enter a home unless invited. Uh. Vampires are only active at night, which is the time when most people are in their homes. And vampires obviously can't hunt in broad daylight. That's why some mid-class and above vampires try to take control of people. With make weak minds and lure them out of their homes behind the scenes. In Midia's case, though, poor mind control spell was used on her. Causing her mind to be stressed to an abnormal degree instead of being controlled. That's why her condition suddenly deteriorated. Is there... Is there any way to save Midia? Please tell us, Mr. Riviel. There is, but... Eh? You'll need an heavenly herb named Dummy Nail. Only with that can you easily remove the puppet's cursed. Heavenly herb, that must be hard to find. I know a place where that herb grows in. I'll get that herb and meet my old friend there while I'm at it. I... I'll go as well. Please let me go with you. You don't need to. That place where my old friend lives is inhabited by monsters. Then all the more I have to go. I'll be fine alone. You'll only be a hindrance if you come along. Right. <laughs> My old friend lives deep in the forest. And just so you know, I won't be able to guarantee your safety. If you don't mind all that, then do whatever you want. Thank you. What a hassle, really. Sorry for the pro trouble. Please do what you can to save Midia. But he is sleeping in pain. We have to s save her quickly. All right. Finally, I'm free. I'm going to save the game and not on the save files that I have. All right. As test runs. All right. Let's go. Chaos is tell territory. Pink. Mr. Reviel? Almost in. We'll be entering the territory of my old friend Chaos. Do not be alarmed at the things that will happen within. Don't 
be alarmed. You'll know soon enough. Well, okay, I'll be careful. Ah! No way! We were in the forest a moment ago! This is Chaos's territory. You're touching my back. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. Um, what exactly is this place? This place is constructed by one of Chaos's unique magic skills. I don't know how it works, though. The one thing I know for sure is that this is no ordinary magic. You're right. At any rate, this place feels so real and so different from the forest. I'm not really sure myself. It appears as though we've been teleported. No, if that was the case, we would have sensed a change in the mana around us. The mana that flows around here is entirely the same as the mana back in the forest. Hmm. We're in the same physical space, but different dimension. Well, that's at least what I make it out to be. Only Chaos knows the true nature of this place. Um, get away from there! Yeah! Guard until I come over! Yes! Mr. Reviel! You've done well putting up with that tax. Now stay back while I settle this. I... I'll fight as well. Remember what I said before about how I'm trained in spear fighting by Mr. Roche? If you fight alone, it'll be one against two. But if I support you... It's no use. These monsters may be small fries. But you're no match for them. I could already tell that you lack strength and experience when it comes to battles like this. You've only been the way, so stay back. Right. Uh -huh. Small fries may not, may or may not know who they're dealing with, but no matter, I'll promptly wipe them out. Physical attacks don't knock on this monster. I guess I'll have to use magic. You can use magic skills, which cost MP by selecting the skill command. Note that MP recovers gradually over time in battle and does not get recovered by items. So use magic skills at appropriate times. Dark Slasher. Power 26, accuracy 24. SCT, which is, I believe, the amount of time between it can be used again. MUWL, or MUL. Electricity is dark. MCT. And accuracy is 24, which is actually relatively low, but they don't really defend very well, so. 18 XP, 16 mil. We're now in a place inhabited by monsters. So it would help if you can be more alert. Um. Sorry. About what? I tagged along with you, only to be a hindrance. Huh? What are you talking about? Eh? That's something I already knew all along. Do you seriously think you can fight alongside me in a battle? Hmm? Don't worry, I'm not expecting anything from you in the first place. Sorry. But... Even though he's not expecting anything from me in the first place, and he knew all along that I would be a hindrance, he still allowed me to tag along with him. I see, so Mr. Raviol is... What are you waiting for? We've got to hurry. Yes! The new entry titled Magic Skills have been added to the system manual, found under main menu, slash, in annual. Chaos is territory. Brave clear level 6, which means the average level in this area will be level 6. That's the average level you need to be in order to survive. We've got onion bats here. They have about 10 HP, they're very, very weak, and are probably one of the weakest enemies you're gonna be fighting. I would highly suggest taking out any of the more powerful enemies with Dark Slasher immediately. And then just regular attacking the onion bats, because you're gonna be fighting a lot of onion bats here. 
The enemies will slowly respawn over time, by the way. 18 XP, 16 mil, got him this eyeball. I'm gonna be getting more into that in a bit. Alright. Dodge that. Dark Slasher. Just get rid of him. We got a blue main. We'll get more into what those little gemstones do. Much later. As tutorial me said, items will not recover your magic power, so bear that in mind and be resourceful and respo responsible and sustainable with your magic and do not waste it. I've only been wasting it right now just to show that, you know, well, you can kill monsters with this stuff and to be resourceful but not too resourceful in the sense that there are enemies here that you really would be better off killing with magic, but... We'll be getting more into that later when we actually get the ability to uh, see something that I'm not going to spoil right now. Antares. Rather. Poison Resistance 3. Red gem named after a star, able to resist poison. We're going to be putting that on real quick. I'm not going to be wasting Dark Slasher on these guys, and as you can see, that little blue thing that shows up periodically, that is our magic being regenerated over time. Um, you can uh, level up that ability, but we, aren't, we haven't gotten to that yet. And after this battle, I think I'm actually going to end this episode off here. Because we are 21 minutes, and 21 minutes is enough time for an episode. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and then I'll see you guys in the next one.